Alright guys, today we're gonna build a concrete part of a concrete mixer. We're gonna turn it into a burn pit. Well fire starter, you take some cotton balls, you dip them in some uh, Vaseline petroleum jelly, roll them around. They get going pretty good. Problem is they stick to you like crazy too. We'll get those going in there. And that'll get going pretty good. I cheated, I put a little diesel in it. But it's pretty dry, it, it would go anyway. But there you go, so let's get to building. All right guys, welcome back to another project. Sorry about yesterday. Uh, the, none of the audio come through, I, I don't know. I have wireless mics, I had my Bluetooth, maybe it messed up, but so I had to edit all my talking out and just play some music. But today, if you watch one of my auction videos, I bid on this cement mixer here for like 30 bucks and it came with this one that looked like it got hit by a truck. I managed to cut it down and get the hopper, I guess it's the hopper, or the barrel out. So we're going to build a fire pit out of it. We're going to build kind of like an H. This is the hopper. It has this like a little lip in the front. But we're going to do something like this. You know, we're going to above our, grind it above our corners, clean it up, square it up. We're going to weld that out. That'll be the stand. And we'll probably just take and cut some of these and make little tiny parts to come up because it's got a curve on the bottom. But all in all, I got it pretty, it's, you know, it got hit, looked like it got hit by a truck. It was just destroyed. That took a little while to get that thing out of the center. But that's what it looks like. Not real bad. It's a little dinged up, but metal fire pits, they don't last forever so it will eventually get destroyed there's the other parts of it this apron's not too bad really keeps you a little bit cleaner and a hair more protected it's a little prep work before you weld it you know clean up a little bit get your corners beveled these little pens are pretty neat it's like a it's not soapstone, but some kind of, I don't know, grease or something that marks on the metal. We got three. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if you can see it. I was going to focus. See all the leaves. It looks like it's snowing with leaves. I know most of these build videos you're not supposed to talk. So I need to switch out the hood. I just keep. I just don't like bringing mine from work because I'll forget it and I'll have to use their piece of crap. Oops. <laughs> All right, we got our foot. Now we're going to take some of these and just cut. We'll probably end up having to notch it just a little bit because the bottom that's round.
one nice thing to have is clamps. The only metal work though, you usually want uh, ones that ain't gonna catch on fire, but here's what it is. Oh yeah. So we'll make four of these, we'll put them on here and then we'll probably cut a slight angle on it and the drum will sit on it and we'll just kind of weld it just so it can't rock. I'm almost done, we got working on the third foot now. So we'll get two more feet cut. All right guys, we got all four of our little stubby feet. I mean, and come in just a tiny bit. So what we'll do is we'll just we'll just chop us just a slight I don't know how much of an angle. Just a slight angle. Actually you could only you can take off the corner just a little bit. We're gonna do a slight angle. Slop that off. Just to let that radius sit down in there a little bit where it wants to just fall down to the center. Let me mark the radiuses I'm gonna put on here and uh, we'll get them cut. Something like that, just a little tiny, little tiny bevel. Just give it a little bit of something to sit on. There you go, so we got a little bit of a little swoop in there. All right, now we got all of our angles cut. <clears throat> I'm gonna put my uh, wheel back on. Oh yeah, I got to just using the flapper wheel. Well, I don't have my hard disk. Alright, I just come in I went in two inches on in each one. So it'll be a little bit of a two inch foot. <clears throat> and then uh get these bad boys on there. Alright, that's basically what it's going to look look like, just a little cradle. But uh, let me get it welded up. All right, let's uh, <coughs> sorry, let's roll this over and see what we got. If I can roll it over, I think it's fairly heavy. It's a big chunk of metal. Whew, still pretty hot. Uh, <laughs> this whole this thing, like I said, I think it got hit by a truck, so it's all twist it all over the place. That's not bad. Uh, I wonder if I could roll it up on top of here. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna move you guys back a little bit. Sorry for all the noise. It is Saturday. There you go. That 
That is not bad. The only bad thing is I gotta lay down and <laughs> try to get a some kind of welds up underneath there. Alright guys, that's about how it's gonna go. Got the feet on it. Pretty much holds it upright. And just shove your wood in here, light it up. I'll probably punch a few holes in the bottom just to keep the the water from just filling up in it. There's holes on the side where the bearings used to go. Hell, there's still a bearing on this side, but you know, it doesn't matter. It's going to be a fire pit. So, I think that's not too bad. Took some junk about, I don't know, maybe an hour, hour and a half. And uh, we made a burn, we made a burn uh, pit, barbecue pit, roast, whatever you want to do with it. Put fire in there, trash can, whatever. But, you know, instead of throwing it away or scrapping it, we made something out of it. And then, uh, if we don't want it later down the road, we can scrap it. So, it wasn't bad. It was, it was pretty neat. I do have the metal cage, but I don't know if there's a point of putting that on there. It's not like, yeah, I'm gonna go get it. It's not like it's gonna uh, stop any sparks or nothing. It's just more gonna be a pain for when you're trying to put wood in it. And it's really messed up. <laughs> See, I was like bolted on there, and you lift it up and get the stuff out. Or I had this little thing on here. We slam the bag down and cut, cut the bag, but it's it's real bent up. So I don't. I don't think. I mean, plus it's going to be hot. So when you want to put wood in there, you're going to have to prop it up. It's, it's not going to. It's not really lining up right anymore, so it's an idea. It wasn't so bad, but anyways, appreciate you guys for watching. Like and subscribe, and uh, some more stuff to come. Stay tuned, stay safe, and uh, get out and do something.